Hello my beautiful friend, it's King Gabriel again and I'm here for another impromptu video. This is number 37. Today's topic is, are you thinking? Now, usually when you hear thinking, right, at least in human consciousness, what people, what comes to mind is the idea of taking in information from the environment, assessing that information as to whether it's going to be beneficial or detrimental to the being involved right and then acting according to that information and that's what the process of thinking entails in human consciousness now beyond human consciousness there is thinking also and I know that in Buddhism and in other different um, types of religious sects etc there is a need to stop thinking right that thinking is the mind's activity and the mind is motion as I have said before as well but there's thinking in a different way and I want to talk about this today in particular we think that thinking is responding to the environment in a sense but what thinking can be is having a receptive mind a mind that's being used as a tool right and the brain is also a receptor reflective of the mind no, the receptor is the brain, the electric impulses come down from mind into the brain. Those electric impulses are then transferred into magnetic frequencies which the heart gives out and those frequencies cause the changes that we need to see. So you can see that thinking can look very different. The thinking that I'm talking about is thinking where the mind is left in a receptive state so it accepts divine consciousness accepts the soul's suggestion accepts the soul's lead and then you're led towards greater expression of the self which is within universal consciousness that oneness and so what we're really talking about when we think of thinking is being receptive to the divine thoughts being receptive to what our true life is to look like like not the life of the ego not the life of the thing that thinks it's a body and has to protect that body but the life of the soul the soul that knows it's forever knows that you're here experiencing certain things that are going to allow you to transcend this bodily level and the level of karma the level of having to do life after life after life and trying to figure out how to get to that place where you are still you are in that soul space you're connected to everything you recognize your oneness you recognize that you're it you know so that thinking the type of thinking I'm talking about leads us more and more to trust in that divine connection to trust in divine consciousness because when we see the results of that thinking and we see in our life that our life is improving we see that the people around us are happier we see that we're generally at peace inside even if nobody else notices it if we see that we're at peace inside and we can feel that in the machinery then we know that we're stepping further and further towards divine consciousness towards universal consciousness and so that is true thinking so I ask the question again are you thinking and I'm gonna go into one more level of this in human consciousness when we think what we do is we use all the information that we have from our experience in the past not the present because the present right now right here you're having this experience right now but you're having this experience from the standpoint of your past still because you look at me you see how I look in some form and in some way in human consciousness you're gonna assess that and you're gonna have a response to that that's why this view this video if some people are just browsing on Facebook some may view and some won't the ones that won't will be based on their past conditioning they'll watch the video and they'll be like oh this guy I know I, I know him <laughs> they know me because they've seen what they see right but they don't really know they don't necessarily know right because they could watch another video with someone who looks a bit different and they would feel compelled to view that right now some would say that that is wisdom etc but sometimes it could be just a form of judgment based on the past and we have to be open to seeing that too open to seeing both sides of that because that's what allows us to continue to be open-minded and to stretch sometimes when we would just block something out because we think it's something else right so that's what the past does it puts us in a mode where 
we start thinking we're thinking, but we're not really because our mind is closed. Where if we're really thinking, and you see the difference now, the mind is open. It's actually open to receiving. It's open to receiving new information in new ways and taking that information to transform the being into one that is continuously open, continuously communicating with everything within the experience. And so, ask yourself the question, am I thinking? <laughs> I will get you soon. Have a lovely day. Eternal love and infinite peace.